Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Claytano and thank you so much for tuning in as always. So we're back with another how important is it video and uh, this week's video was asked by Andy YT and he said how important is it to fuse Vermos? So I figured that'd be a great topic to go over for today's video and if you guys want your questions answered of how important is it, go ahead and leave your comments below and you can be responsible for the next video. However, before we get into it here, I did get a random package from Comp to us uh, yesterday and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what they just randomly sent me because uh, it's actually some pretty cool stuff. So the first thing that they sent me, I'm just gonna pull this up here as it, as it is. They sent me this um, portable charger by Anchor. Uh, this isn't sponsored by Comptus, this isn't sponsored by Anchor anybody. But they sent me this portable charger and I thought it was really cool. It's actually something I asked for for Christmas from wife Tano, but she, uh, she didn't get me it. But Comptus did, so thanks for that Comptus, I appreciate you. And they gave me this little sticker here. And uh, Calcep was in my stream this morning, he was like, oh, you probably, put the sticker on the on the charger and that's that's how they get you because there's no there's no summoner's war logo on the uh, on the charger and then the last thing they gave me was this hoodie here which is a summoner's war hoodie you guys can see that here it's pretty pretty sick I guess they weren't too happy about me wearing my own merch maybe no I'm just kidding they just wanted to send this to me and then uh, and then I flipped the hood up and it says Claytano on the hood so I thought that was pretty cool. You know, thanks for comp to us for, you know, just randomly sending that out to me. I appreciate you guys if you do watch this video. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, means a lot, okay? Mean, it lets me know that you guys are still caring about me and still got me on your mind, so I appreciate it, guys. But um, to get into the video here of how important is it to fuse Veramos, I thought it would be a, a good thing to show you guys on my brand new European server account that I started about five days ago. And I also wanna kinda give you guys a rundown of where I'm at on this account in the last five days that I've started playing, okay? So just to kinda go through everything so far, uh, I've gotten several LD scrolls, okay? I finished all of the uh, scenario mode, all the way up to Chiruka Remains, just on normal mode. And then I went to Phimon and went all the way up to Hell Mode and Aiden Forest all the way up to Hell Mode as well. And I haven't really finished the Hell Mode on all the scenarios just because I have been farming this specific Hell Mode, okay? I don't need to do all of them. I only have a certain amount of reps to go around, uh, rep monsters to go around. So I figured I would either do Aiden Hell or Phimon Hell if I'm trying to level up monsters. The other ones that I've done, as far as the Keros dungeon, I've done all the way up to Giants B10, so I got my LD scroll from that. I also did Dragons B10 all the way up to um, B10 as well. Haven't started in on Necro yet, but I have done some of the uh, Halls of Magic, Water, stuff like that as well. And then I noticed that the um, that these challenges, not the community, but the challenges, that they've done, or they, that they've added in since I was a new player, actually are extremely, extremely helpful when you're first starting out. And the main ones that I've been focusing on were these ones here to get my Konamiya. I also got my Colleen, I'll get that on the wind day, so I haven't gotten it just yet. I do have a Colleen though, however. I do have a, a couple Colleens. You can see right here. So I have all my Colleen's, but I'm waiting for the one that they give me that's awakened because then I don't have to worry about using essences. And essences are actually really hard to farm when you're first starting out, I, I notice as well. But I have been able to get a Tark, my Konamiya, uh, this this one, this one, I don't really focus on those too much. But my Shannon, my Bernard, and my Bella all up to four star max. And then um, I had a one day, two times experience uh, ticket that they gave me and basically just leveled up as many three stars as I possibly could. So that way when I have enough fodder monsters to put into them, then I can you know, just start five starring people. Because uh, my first main goal to worry about is to be able to farm a Giants B10, okay? And that's farming it 100% fully auto with my team and that would consist of these guys right here. And I actually made a video showing you guys that this team works as long as they're all six star, they're all max leveled, and they're all, um, you know, they're all 
as ruined up as best as you possibly can, okay? So that's my first goal is doing Giants V10. I was able to do uh, Giants V10 and Dragons V10 just based on rep monsters. Uh, I had a couple people help me out in that, so uh, thanks to you guys. Thanks to you guys for that. I appreciate it, and also the guys that helped me out in getting the. Um, the Belladion Dungeon, uh, his name is Felice. I appreciate that as well, thank you guys. And so, just to kind of segue right into the Veramos talk, and a lot of people were asking me, hey, do you plan to go with um, Veramos first, or are you planning to rush Sigmaris uh, first? And most people were just expecting to rush Veramos, because I guess that's technically what everybody does, and that's what all the guides say, apparently. But I don't plan to rush Veramos first. I'm actually going to be rushing um, Sigmaris first. And I don't even need to rush it. If it comes, it comes. But I'm not going to rush it because I know I have five monsters that can easily do the, um, the Giants V10. And I don't really have to worry about wasting so many resources and be so far behind by fusing a monster that isn't going to really help me out all that much. Yes, it would be nice to have. It's going to be nice to have a Sigmaris that can do a ton of damage. But is it worth putting all those resources in first and foremost before even getting like a Giants V10 team? I personally don't think so. I think I'll be just fine with the five monsters that I picked to focus on first for my Giants V10 team. But for um, the difference between Vermos and Sigmaris, I think any guy that says that Vermos is better is maybe a little bit outdated because it may not have been before the Sigmaris buff. But if you think about it, Sigmaris has an AoE stun or AoE freeze that does damage based on max HP. So if you are really looking at doing dungeon runs and you want to do a lot of damage and nuke a lot of things, dungeons, dungeon bosses have a lot of HP and that's where a lot of people struggle first starting out into the game. So I'm going to rush Sigmaris first because it has that max HP damage on the third skill. Plus it has the, um, plus it has the freeze where uh, I mean, Vermos has the, the stun as well, so it's just kind of weighing out your options that way. But then also we have a, another damage based on max HP skill here, Frozen Orb, that also freezes and then attacks the enemy with the energy and, and stuns them. So every single skill from Sigmaris is going to do some sort of CC. Okay, Vermos is n nice because it removes any debuffs on you, uh, but then also puts a, a, a dot on the enemy monster, so it's good for bossing, I suppose. But I would rather have that damage based on max HP to get in there. Don't have to worry about, you know, landing dots. I can just go in, nuke it out, do damage based on max HP, and then I can also use Sigmaris for like farming Phimon Hell and everything else as well. Uh, I think Vermos is a nice monster to have once you're starting into uh, Dragons V10, but for Giants V10 and first starting into the game, I think Sigmaris is probably the better option. And even going into Dragons V10, I think Sigmaris is still the better option because it provides so much CC and so much damage that it's really useful. And then the one thing that I'm missing from Vermos is a cleanse that I don't have, but I've made up for that by building a Konamiya, which is a super, super important monster to build. So my plan right now is to build these five monsters, ruin them up as best as I possibly can, have them all max skilled because they're easy to max skill. I've been purchasing every single Shannon that I can or every single pixie that I can from the shop as it comes up. I've been also, um, I haven't actually gotten any skills from my Bernard, but I can get those from the scenarios when the time comes. And then I've been getting every Tark that comes up as well. I just got him awakened today since it is the Water Dungeon Day. And then same thing with Konamiya. She takes a little bit longer, but same thing. I just go to the shop every time it resets and I look if there's a Konamiya. There is. Perfect. That's another skill up. And another Pixie skill up. Sweet. Now that's a majority of where I've been spending my uh, mana on. And I also, as you see, I actually increased my shop as far as it can possibly go, which I definitely recommend you guys doing as well as soon as possible. Because if you have those um, available to you, that's quicker skill ups, quick, quicker progression. And uh, you'll be able to have your, have your monsters maxed out because it's really, really easy stats to get. So I actually only needed one more anyway, so now I don't have to buy any more pixies from the shop. I can just throw them in there. I guess you can wait to see if you can get them from Unknown Scrolls, but really, 
I've just been buying them as soon as I see them because I know it's going to help out. And spending 20,000 mana isn't like the end of the world. Yes, it is a lot of mana when you're first starting out, but it's still not the end of the world. Uh, I also got a Konamiya here, and she needs some more on her piece and her first skill, but at least her second skill is all the way maxed out already. So I'm going to throw that onto her. And I've been skipping the scrolls, uh, like the scroll pieces. I've been skipping those in the shop for now because it's, you know, typically like 150,000 mana to get the LD and the legendary scrolls. So I've been skipping those because they're, I mean, it's just, it's going to take so much of my mana that I need for uh, combining monsters together, fusing monsters, all that stuff that I just need to keep for now. But I've only been making sure that I buy those couple things. And then I buy mystical scrolls because that's, instant uh, three-star fodder monsters that I can get uh, 100% so I've been doing that and the only thing that I've been spending my crystals on were uh, I, I've, I've only refreshed my energy twice in five days I've only refreshed it twice so I was 60 of my crystals and then I also um, when I was completing the Giants B10 and Dragons B10 using rep monsters I um, I died a couple times, so I think another 50 crystals went into those. But other than that, uh, I haven't spent crystals on anything but summoning. And my summoning, guys, I've only gotten one lightning out of probably, uh, I don't know, a dozen summons between the scrolls that I get from drops, from quests, from everything. I've only gotten one lightning, and it was a water uh, succubus. And I, I mean, She's good, but I don't think I'm going to focus on her right away. I'm still going to focus on my main five monsters that I know that I can rely on. I'm not going to waste resources on them. I'm going to need them eventually later on in the game anyway. So I'm going to max these out first. My first five star and uh, my first five star is going to be Bella. And I'll probably move through these guys to get them all to five stars. And then uh, Bella will still be my first six star as well. Uh, she's the main utility unit and having her being tanky, fast, you know, all that good stuff is gonna help my teams be a lot more uh, safe. And then eventually I'll probably try to switch out Tark for Sigmaris when I, when I fuse Sigmaris because um, Tark is nice, but if you have a Sigmaris, if you can fuse Sigmaris, it's definitely a better option than Tark uh, early game, but then you'll switch back over to Tark when you start into your uh, speed dungeons. But yeah, so far my luck hasn't been great, like I said. I got the um, the one four star monster, and then from my three LD scrolls, because I've summoned three of them so far, one from GB10, one from DB10, and then one from the scenario, I've gotten light elemental, I've gotten the light drunken master, and then uh, light M champion. So nothing really that I am super excited about just yet. No, no crazy summons. Everything's been pretty, pretty basic so far, and. Uh, just gonna keep 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 moving these guys forward as as quick as possible. Uh, as far as other things, uh, arena. Okay, arena. I've been using my wings as much as possible as well. Uh, last week I was able to get the um, the devilmon before it before it uh, switched over. So I was able to get the devilmon last week, and I am able to get it again in four days because I've been using my. Uh, I've been using my wings as much as possible because that also helps to create my, um, it also helps my experience so I level up faster when I use my wings. And if you guys can, I would try to time your wings based on when you're about to level up so that way it like maximizes your efficiency where as soon as you level up you're like on the last energy that you can use for the day. You all have also have all your wings already used, so your wings are at zero, your energy is at zero, you level up, you get everything back, and you can go right back at it um, again. Now, for the, uh, for the dungeons, just to go over a couple of the friend monsters that I've used in order to complete them. For Giants B10, I used Chow a lot, and I also used... Um, I also used uh, Ritesh. I used Ritesh to solo it out for me as well. I actually put the resistance leader skill from the water fairy as you can see and that worked pretty well. And then on a couple of the dragons B10 ones, 
So I, I needed help with the B7, 8, 9, and 10. So I used like Camila, again, Chow, Laika, those guys, because they put dots on, they gain their health back, and then Cabzon actually helped me out. If you guys don't know who Cabzon is, he was the, um, the winner of the Paris uh, Summer's War Championship Regional Tournament. And he, um, yeah, he helped me out with his Garo on the, I believe it was the B9. Um, yeah, so it was B9, and then, like I said, if I died once, I, I just revived right there in the run and made sure I finished it. So, anyway, guys, that, that's that's the update on my EU account. Again, make sure you guys are getting as many friends as possible. Friends are the, the easiest way to help yourself level up through the game faster. Uh, I appreciate all the friend requests. I appreciate all the people trying to help me out. Uh, thank you guys so much. There's over like 700 something requests. It's it's insane. Almost 800 requests, guys. You guys are nuts. Um, I obviously can't add everyone, but I do appreciate the request. And uh, you never know, because if I need some extra friends, I might delete some and then add some more, so that way I can get five more friends for the day uh, to help myself progress even farther. And I have been kind of going to a couple different channels. The main one I've been in was 101 in Europe. So if you guys are wondering where to find me, I've been in 101. I've been in anything between like 101 to 120. I've been kind of hanging out in that range there. So uh, if you see me, don't ask me if I'm real because I am real. I promise it's not a fake Claytano. This is my it's my Europe account, and I've been having a ton of fun with it. I've been having a lot of fun, like you know, teaching people, helping people out in the game, and uh, also seeing people's reactions when they think I'm uh, not me. So anyway, guys, though, in conclusion of this video. <laughs> Uh, is it how, how important is it to uh, rush fuse vermos? It's not really that important so far. If uh, if it changes, I might do more videos on this Europe account. I might do like a video every single day because that's how like that's how much you guys like this series. Uh, I might just do every video with starting off with the update on my Europe account, and who knows. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm, I'm probably not going to fuse Vermos right off the bat. I'm going to wait for a little bit, fuse Sig first. He is important to have, but not important to rush, in my opinion. Uh, not after Sigmaris. Sigmaris is definitely the way to go, first and foremost. But uh, aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. Comment what you want to see in my next video for how important is it. And uh, also subscribe because I make videos every single day. I would love to have you guys a part of the soup. And I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace, guys.